Yo, what's up y'all? Ashalot here. Welcome back to Memnon Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Tip and Trick and the Boss Guide of Elder Ring itself. And today's boss guide is all going to be about the Three Sentinel. In today's guide, I'm going to teach you how you can beat the Three Sentinel without using his spectral steed turret itself. A very, very, very easy. But before we can proceed, I have to mention, I have to tell, if you do like my content, do not hesitate to press a like, you comment down below and subscribe yourself to the channel because it does help me a lot as a young content creator. But before we can proceed, there's a few things actually you need to have. First of all, you need to have a weapon and your arsenal that does bleed damage. By applying bleed and applying damage towards a boss, you will apply eventually a bleed damage that will take a good chunk of your, the boss's health. Where can you get a um, weapon that does bleed damage? You can get it by starting with a starting class, the Samurai. You will get Ujitano, and Ujitano does bleed damage and damage effect over time. And like I said, it does eventually a bleed. And the very first camp that you encounter, um, you will find in this carriage and weapon a mace that also applies bleed damage if you moment you do damage against your targets. In the same place, you will find also the map of Limgrave and the checkpoints for you to activate your accessible, accessible points to get your steep torrents. The last thing you actually need is the summonings. These summonings that will help you actually to distract the boss so you can be aggressive in this fight. What do you need to watch out for in this fight? This fight and this boss has a different form of movesets that you need to learn to anticipate. He has a charging sweep attack. If you dodge it correctly straight on his left side, you should come straight on his behind and you have like a 1 point uh, seconds to be able to attack him on his backside. By attacking him on his backside, you are increasing your bleed. The goal of this fight is for you to be aggressive as possible, so you are going to apply your bleed as fast as possible and as many as possible. And the same thing, you need to learn his mechanics. The second mechanics he has, he has an, an uplifting shield attack a grunt shield attack and, and of course he has also have a stomp horse attack all these effects and all these damages does a massive form of AoE so be careful in, in these fights in these scenarios and in these instances every single time he does a very strong attack you have a second time to apply your uh, damage towards your boss itself for the rest is literally rinse and repeat rinse and repeat learn the mechanics anticipate his movement sets when he does a big movement set then you attack him and you'll try to apply your bleed as fast as possible now let us now watch the full fight actually so you have an overall understanding how the fight is and how you actually so proceed yourself in this fight also sit back relax and enjoy some beautiful gameplay
and voila that is literally it um while you defeat the boss you get the golden helmet. that is a very strong uh, faith built weapon for those who wants to have a weapon that is scales himself with faith uh, for the rest i will say thank you very much for sticking around with me and for chilling with me and hopefully this content does help you and hopefully i can see you all on the next parts and the next different trick and build advice and guides will be coming at a massive speed and um, for elder ring itself everything you need to know actually how you can tackle every single boss every account within this game that is the gaming channel you actually need to be because we will be going through it in detail step by step so your life becomes extremely easy for the very first time and eldering itself especially if you're a newer gamer and that's just a veteran like myself i will say thank you very much and once again i'm the Ashen lord itself and hopefully i can see you all in my let's play streams i would say just come and chill with me come and say hi during my let's play and you will, there you will find the different form of actually um, guides, tips and tricks, secrets we are discovering left and right. And just simple fact is, yeah, it's just fun, you know. One love, we're always here with Memnon. And um, yeah, we're family, you know. Come and say hi. Uh, come and say hello. Uh, come and chill with me. And for the rest, yeah, if you like this content, like I said, you know, it does really help me. Your like really helps me. Helps my algorithm. Your comments help me as a gamer itself. It's just a nice thing to hear your comments. Uh, how my work is appreciated, yes or no. And of course, subscribe yourself massively and share this content as much as you can and uh, until your heart goes tense. Alright, anyway, thank you very much for chilling. See you next time. Men and out. One love. Always. Peace.